An alarmed Richard Osman urged fans to take no notice of an impersonator after realizing it had fooled some of his fans. This account on Facebook is not me, please unfollow slash ignore slash whatever you deem most appropriate, he clarified to his one. 2 million followers. Unfortunately, the spoof account had already gained 19,000 followers and accumulated 14,000 likes, despite being nothing to do with him at all. Brilliantly that account automatically copies all my tweets, so its latest post was me telling everyone it's a fraud, the former pointless star groaned. I honestly wouldn't mind, but it keeps sneaking in creepy little posts of its own. At Klaus underscore Kinski wrote back, quipping, so wait, we're not going skinny dipping in Ibiza next weekend? At Kane Bethel chimed in, nightmare, I organized to go for a pint with you on that account. Just let me know on your real one when you can make it and I'll make myself free. At Welsh Birders then joked, how do we know which one is real? Question mark this might be the false one. The social media landscape dramatically changed virtually overnight recently after Elon Musk removed the free blue tick verification system, leaving a host of high-profile celebrities without one. The likes of Piers Morgan, Dan Walker and Ricky Gervais voiced their displeasure at the news system, which forces each person to shell out six pounds. 42, 8 dollars, a month to prove to the world who they are or lose their tick altogether. Dot Despite a backlash, some fans argued that the fee was a tiny drop in the ocean for multi-millionaire celebrities and that they should stop complaining. Richard is one of those who has retained his tick, although in his profile a cryptic message reads, No, I didn't pay for it. He has explained that some celebrities with over 1 million followers, including himself, Beyonce and Victoria Beckham, have had their tick automatically reinstated without the need to sign up to the paid scheme. Meanwhile, Richard also shared some exciting news about his career as a novelist earlier today. The paperback of The Bullet That Missed will finally be out in May. He crowed, adding, it's exactly the same as the hardback but easier to take on holiday.